I'm Amitabh Brevi, very honored and privileged to be hosted by the Indian Army and Major General Taranjeev Manju, who is the GOC of the 71st Infantry Division in Misamari in Assam. General Sir, thank you thank so much for your hospitality. Thank you. We've, we've actually managed to, in a very short frame of time, travel from Assam all the way up to Arunachal. So we've got a slight uh, experience of the terrain, the conditions, weather conditions. How would you assess, uh, General, the change in both infrastructure and your force positions over the last few years? Uh, Amitabh, over the last few years, there has been a lot of change, a lot of development, uh, both from uh, PLA side as well as our side. And uh, initially, probably, we had not focused that much on infrastructure development. But this time on, past few years, there has been a lot of emphasis, focus, both from the government side, central government side, state government side, as well as the army side. The focus has increased. And uh, infrastructure, like connectivity, whether it is uh, thinking about railway connectivity subsequently, maybe the airport coming up at Dirang. So, connectivity is actually the main driver. In case you are connected, the last mile connectivity is there, then the development also takes place. Sure. So, Chinese side, they are doing a lot of infrastructure development. They are coming closer to LAC day by day. Every year we notice this change. So, we also are uh, taking lot of steps, specifics probably I may not be able to convey here on the, this thing, but otherwise uh, we are uh, doing a lot of uh, good things, a lot of infrastructure, a lot of technology is being brought into uh, this area, whether it is road construction, whether it is habitat construction. So, everything is being taken care of. I think there is nothing to worry. We are uh, doing a good job. In terms of that, uh, there has been an incident last year, December, when you're talking about in Yangtze, before that when you go, uh, especially in Galwan and Dolam, has there been an increase, say, in the frequency of uh, such face-off incidents? Has it changed in any manner? You see, frequency in our area has not increased per se, but uh, the face-offs generally, they come to two or three particular places. So, they come generally at the same place. They say that they are their traditional patrolling routes they want to come. But uh, there is a, otherwise a lot of uh, increase in the uh, visits of their senior officers on the line of actual control. And uh, patrolling, etc. is normal routine. There is nothing much uh, which has changed. There is nothing much which has changed. But yes, uh, their visits of senior officers has increased. And uh, from our side also, we are keeping a track, we are monitoring, we are checking each and every move which they are uh, taking. And our surveillance, we have improved, um, uh, improved our surveillance. And uh, we are keeping a tab on each and everything which they are doing. To a certain extent, I have been briefed on uh, what the preparedness is and obviously you can't put out that and there's no necessity for operational details uh, to be uh, put out in the public domain unless uh, necessary. Could you explain to a lay viewer in terms of, you were talking about senior officers of the PLA, border engagement, border meetings, what exactly happens, what has been happening over the last uh, few meetings? You see, in case there is, you are fully aware that there is a variance in perception of LSE between us and the PLA or the Chinese. So, in case there is some kind of issue which they notice, they ask for a border personnel meeting. And in case we have some point to be raised or to be conveyed to them, there is a method of hotline. There are hotlines. So, we have uh, exchange of hotline and we convey the message. In case there is something substantial which needs to be discussed, so we have a border personnel meeting. Like in our area, it is at Bumla. Correct. That is the designated place. So, we have a border personnel meeting and all the issues are resolved, resolved and sorted out uh, amicably there. There is no, actually with the ground troops, there is no problem whatsoever on ground. 
And so this, ha this happens at various levels. So this is the senior most level. I presume there's one that happened which involves the ME and recently first trip to China. But at the local commanders level also, at smaller incidents, right? Yeah, like uh, this BPM meeting which happens at Bumla, that is the highest which is right. happening at our level. But otherwise at our lower level, at every place, wherever the troops are in contact, so we have interactions there. They come to a particular place, we also go to that place, we go, we meet uh, local points, any points which they raise or we raise, so they are addressed. Sometimes law, the herders, they come close to the LSE. Now with the new land border law coming, so we are facing more problems because mo more of herders or people in the guise of herders, they are coming close to the LSE. So we raise protests on that. At the local level also we raise protests. And in case they are not sorted out at that level, so then we raise a hotline. And in case it is not sorted out, then we uh, take it up in the Bumla meeting, border personnel meeting. General, again, in, in, in this area, well, from my understanding, there are several positions where we are dominating or we are on a certain height which gives us an advantage and we've mm -hmm. taken those positions decades ago. Yeah. Uh, how important is that and what is our capability without giving out any uh, details that you don't need to of say looking beh behind the hill that you need to know what's happening on the other side of the plateau. What is our capability and how are we handling their posture? Okay, you see, as far as our uh, deployments or our locations are concerned, we are sitting on dominating places. We are sitting on the watershed. So we are able to see uh, right across. We can see beyond uh, the immediate. And uh, these days, there are a lot of surveillance devices available. Uh, the, uh, the higher headquarter gives us the information as and when required. And whatever is required, that is being uh, given to us. But uh, we are well settled. There is no problem uh, or there is nothing to worry on that account. And since you are talking about it, sir, and you mentioned it earlier, uh, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance is, has sharpened much yeah. more with technology, our capabilities, right? Yes. Yeah, that has, uh, the technology has actually made a lot of difference. Technology has made a lot of difference. Earlier, uh, the kind of cameras we did not have, the otherwise surveillance devices, the equipment we did not have. But now, uh, I have noticed that over the past few years, there is a lot of new technology, new equipment, new generation weapons, new generation equipment which is coming up, uh, whether it is all-terrain vehicle or uh, the kind of other weapons, latest weapons. So a lot of uh, focus has been given on this issue. And our eyes are exactly where they need to be. Yeah, certainly, and there is no doubt about that. When I look at it from a foreign affairs or international relations kind of angle, all the, the decades of meetings, uh, agreements, say from 1988, I mean virtually of, and figuratively have been torn up after Galwan. In terms of military postures, have our standard operating procedures changed since then? Has it affected? Do the troops on the ground, are they allowed to carry weapons? Can they use them? What's the, what can you share with us? See, after Galwan, things have changed a lot. Yeah. Uh, before Galwan, the deployments were not that much in the forward areas. After Galwan, he has uh, come closer to the LSE. And uh, during this normal training area, training durations or uh, training periods, so he has started bringing more forces closer by. And uh, we also have to be cautious of all those things. So to take care of those issues, that uh, those contingencies, those eventualities which may arise. So we also have uh, changed our standing operating procedures. So we have also enhanced uh, commensurately our strength in the forward areas so that we can take action as and when warranted.